Hey everybody! Hey guys, how you guys doing? You slide over here. Yes, yeah, slide on over so you can be in the camera. <laughs> hey everybody, we're Will and Faith with Get to the Root. Get roof. to the Root Health and Wellness. Health and Wellness, where we love to come and inspire and motivate you to make healthy choices, to create healthy habits, to give you that healthy life that you are worthy of having. Yes. And we do that inspiration by way of sharing healthy whole food plant-based recipes. That's right. Fun in-home workouts, mm -hmm. um, healthy uh, habits, healthy life talks. Yes. And uh, tonight, or today, should I say, we are super excited because it's going to be all about making plant-based or mm -hmm. vegan Breakfast, breakfast links, okay? Yes. Meatless breakfast links, okay? Yes. And I don't know about you. I, you know, I love me a good sausage link, um, but we're going to make it even better because yes. it's going to be meatless. It's going to be full of um, vegetables mm -hmm. and beans and a whole bunch of uh, amazing spices. Yes. So if you're all about learning how to make an amazing breakfast link, then stay tuned, all Absolutely. right? If you're joining us live, go ahead on and hit the like button, Bing. hit the subscribe button, Bing. share with family and friends, yes. all right? Let's connect, let's, let's get, get healthy, healthy together. together. Yes, all yes. right, awesome, yes. awesome. So like I said, again, these links are, are super amazing and I made them for Will um, on his birthday. Yes. He recently had a birthday and Ooh. what he wanted was a plant powered breakfast yes but he wanted a southern style right mm -hmm. so show, show them your birthday picture i have over oh, here yes okay yes. over here I'm find my picture yes there. yes oh yes. uh, so i made him some pancakes and some scrambled tofu yes. with um with also the breakfast links that we're going to be sharing with you tonight so there it is there's his picture Ooh. and it was amazing oh uh, simply yes. simply amazing yes so did it you enjoy awesome. that meal? It was totally awesome. It was so it was good. Incredible. We had to come and share good. with y'all how to make those links. We'll also be coming to share with you how to make the scrambled tofu. We'll yes. do that next week. Yes. And the pancakes, okay? Yes. yes. So it's all about the links today. Matter of fact, I have some already here. Mm -hmm. Look at look at that. Look yep. at See them. if I can get that in there. Ooh. Yes, honey. Oh. They are amazing. Yes. Okay. And guess what? You can fry them in the frying pan, yes. okay? Oh, wow. Without Seer. oil. Oh, yes. All Seer. right? Without oh, oil. I think we got a picture. Show them a quick yes. picture with the, uh, with the sausage, sausage in the pan. Yes, pan. yes, 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 yes. So you can oh, my gosh. make these and fry yeah. them up in the frying pan. Oh, my goodness. No oil. No okay? oil, man. So that makes them <laughs> even that much more. Yes. That makes them even that much more heart healthy. Absolutely. All right. Yes. So um, as we always do, we like to give some people a shout out. If yes. you're joining the slide, just a few shout outs. Shout and we're gonna out. jump right in. Shout out. We're yes. gonna jump right yes. in yes. 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 to we're making these sausage things. Thing. We got Miss Tammy. So, here hey, Tammy. from North Carolina. Thank you for joining us, girl. Thank you for joining us this evening. Yes. Thank you so much. Oh, Janet D's up in the house. Hey, Janet. Janet D from, from the Connecticut. Con. Yeah. Thank you the for joining us. Thank you so much for Appreciate joining us this morning, this afternoon. Yes. Not this morning. Debbie Falls, hey, hey from Janet. Texas. What's yes. The Lone Star State. <laughs> yeah. We're so glad to see you. I know it looks delicious, right, Tammy? It is they totally are. delicious. They are. I'm serious. They Absolutely. are so, so good. Absolutely. Yes. So we're going to go ahead on it again. Y'all know we like to talk back and forth, all yes, right? So yes, don't be shy. Yeah, go ahead shy. on. Don't go ahead on. And um, they taste you know. better than they look. I'm yeah. telling you right now, they're much better than they look. I'm telling you. Yes. So yep. we're gonna go ahead on and start with the demonstration, okay? Again, these are. Uh, hey, Joanne. <laughs> How you doing? Hey, Joanne. Thank you for joining. Us. We appreciate you. Yep. All right. Go ahead. So go we're ahead. gonna go ahead on and get started. Yes. Okay. We're gonna begin with some sun-dried tomatoes. And I think, I don't know if I have a picture of the sun-dried tomatoes or not, but you yep. can find these in your local grocery store, okay? These just so happen to be the smoked sun-dried tomatoes. Yes. And um, and I like the smoke, but you can just use you can own regular sun-dried tomatoes. You just wanna make sure that they don't have any oil added to them, okay? Right. So when you buy, when you get your brand, flip it over, make sure there is no added oils. Y'all ingredients. Y'all know we don't do any oils because it's not good for our heart. 
right? It's high in calories mm -hmm. and it sticks to your hips, your lips, and, and your fingertips, your okay? <laughs> <laughs> and your heart, most importantly. Yeah, so absolutely. so we try to avoid oils at all costs, yes. all right? So we're going to start with one half cup of sun-dried tomatoes yes. and one half cup of hot water. Yes. And we're going to allow them to soak. And I already have some here um, soaking, mm -hmm. okay, in water, all right? And uh, you just let them sit in water for about 15 minutes, okay? So while they are soaking, yes. we're going to add some more vegetables um, to our dish. And yes. we're going to begin with... Um, sauteing some mushrooms we uh we yes, put it up we okay good. good good so we're going to begin with sauteing some mushrooms and onions yes. and i like the baby bella you're free to use whatever mushroom you want okay but i like the baby bella just chop up two cups all right and mm -hmm. throw them in the pan yeah and we're basically just we're going to cook these until all the water is cooked out all right yes <clears throat> We're also going to begin adding to the pan and okay. I want to make sure my uh yep. my my uh hot plate was on, on here. On. Okay. On. And we're also gonna add two cups of onions. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, and the hot plate is on? Okay. I think so, honey. Right. If not, I'll make it happen. Let me see. Yeah, I think it's on. Yes. Okay, yes. cool. Awesome. Yes. And then we're going to put a lid on this. You can move the onion. Yes. Okay. And y'all notice I did not add any no oil. oil. No oil. There is no need to add any oil to no. your pan. No. Number one, because mushrooms have lots of water. Yes. Uh, also, uh, onions, onions have, have water. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it, in this particular process, we're wanting to utilize the natural waters that are in these vegetables yes. that coats the pan. Yes. You keep it from sticking. Um, now, sometimes after all that water is boiled out, you uh, may need to add just a little splash of water as you continue to cook the veggies. But we're gonna allow them to cook, I think I hear them simmering, yes. okay, for about um, seven to eight minutes, mm -hmm. okay? And at this point, again, all we're doing is we're uh, cooking the onions and the mushrooms, we're cooking out all of the water, and then we're going to allow some caramelization to happen to, you know, help bring in those natural um, savory flavors that mushrooms and onions bring to um, your dish. Okay. All right. So while we're letting um, the onions cook, and then a minute, I'm going to show you in just a second how much water oh, yeah. is actually in the pan. Okay. So uh, remember, no oil. Okay. Awesome. All right. While we're oh, waiting, I'm yes. I'm sorry, I got the wrong thing. I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> it's okay. Yep. All right. So while we're waiting on the onions to simmer, we're going to start putting all of our ingredients in our blender that we're going to blend together. All yes. right. Um, and you know the title was red pinto links. Links. Okay. So of course we're going to add some pinto beans to our blender. When I think about plant-based eating, I, I think about um, several things. Number one, I'm eating this way to be healthy. But when we're coming up with um, plant-based inspirational dishes, right? Mm -hmm. I always think of some traditional dishes that I used to eat on the standard American diet. And how can I make them plant-based? You right. know, take out all of the bad stuff mm -hmm. and put and back all in all the good dishes. stuff, right? right? So in this particular creation here or um, dish, we're leaving the meat out, which is, you know, not good for us. It's not good for the animals and it's not good for the planet, right? So um, we're going to add in beans, all right? Yes. So beans is um, loaded with fiber and protein yes. and um, just all kinds Have of stuff that's good fat. for your body. Good yeah. fat. And that's all you need. Perfectly just a balanced. Bit. That's right. So we're going to add some beans. Okay. What else do you have next? There you go. We're going to definitely add some spices in. So y'all yes. know it's all about, all about the spices, yes. honey. Yes. All righty. So we're going to add one tablespoon of garlic powder. Yes. 
we have one half teaspoon of fennel seed and dry basil. Yes. I'm going to add that to the blender. Yes. Okay. What's next? Awesome. The next thing we have is one, one half. To, oh, we just did that. Okay. okay. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Now, we're also going to add some more spices. This is going to yes. be all about the spices. Mm -hmm. So we have some poultry here, some mm -hmm. poultry seasoning, some dried rosemary, yes. and I believe we have yeah, next margarine. is some margarine. Mm -hmm. So a half a teaspoon of margarine. Now, I have the recipe link above or below, uh, wherever you're watching us at. This on YouTube is below. Facebook is above. Yes. Um, I had to figure out how to connect with my Instagram folks, you know, because, I mean, you know, I feel like they're left out. Yeah. Um, we're going to figure we'll that figure out where we can do some lives with our Instagram people. Yes. Um, but where did I stop at? Yep, we stopped with the margarine. And margarine. now it's uh, okay. half a teaspoon of chipotle pepper. All right. So we got some chipotle pepper for a little heat yes. and some, some smoked, smoked paprika. paprika. Okay. Right. Yes. What else? Uh, everything have? is smelling good already. Is Queen. it? Yes. Is One it? tablespoon of hickory smoke terula yeast. Let's pause there for a moment. We'll and pause let's, there for a moment. Yeah, we'll move back. Okay. Yes, yes. All right. Okay. So if you notice, look at all that water it's accumulating. Yeah. that's accumulating in the pan. Can you see that? It's water in there. So that's why we don't really need to put any oil. Mm -hmm. in oh, our so pan good. and it smells absolutely amazing okay so we're going to keep letting our onions and mushrooms cook in the pan yes and go ahead and let them do their thing while we do our thing over here yes. okay what else do we have yep now we're going to go back to the one tablespoon of hickory smoke terula yeast okay hickory smoke all right so now Tarula yeast, and I think I have a picture of that. Yes. Um, if you could uh, give us a quick picture of the Tarula yeast. Yes, ma'am. This is a, um, a a new spice that I've just learned about that is absolutely amazing. Um, I think most of us are familiar with um, nutritional yeast, mm -hmm. okay, which has like a little cheesy uh, flair to it. But Tarula yeast has more of a meaty smoked meat. Now, y'all know I'm from the South. It tastes just like bacon. And it also reminds me of that smoked meat that mom used to uh, flavor their greens and beans with, yeah. okay? Yeah. It's all so about the flavor. It's all, it's all about, about the flavor. flavor. So yeah. we're gonna add one tablespoon of hickory smoked terula yeast. Now, if you don't have terula yeast, you can leave it out. Uh, if you have nuke, you can add nuke. But I like Which is nutritional, um, yeast, nutritional but yeast. I'm sorry. That's okay. Nutritional yeast, okay? But if you don't have uh, terula yeast or nutritional yeast, you can just um, leave it out. Yes. Right? <clears throat> We're also going to add one tablespoon of liquid mm -hmm. smoke, okay? And this is a particular brand that I like to use, but any brand will do. So is this um, yep, right go. liquid brand, liquid smoke? Mm -hmm. Use that, okay. Yep. We're going to add next, what? Two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, yes. okay? And I like to use the apple cider vinegar with the mother and that's the cloudy um, apple cider vinegar. And it'll actually say with the mother. Um, research has shown that it's, uh, the enzymes that's naturally found in the apple cider vinegar is good for our overall health. So mm -hmm. whenever I can add some vinegar, I'm adding vinegar to, <clears throat> to my dish, okay? What yes. else we have there? We have, we're gonna go into our tomato paste. Okay, we don't have any um, soy sauce. Um, Did we see, skip I that? Think I might have skipped it, Mom. Okay. Oh, no, there it is, Mom. Okay, go. all right. There you go. So we're going to add um, three tablespoons of soy sauce. Now, again, I like to use, zoom in, please. Yep, sorry about that. The, uh, can you see? There it oh, is. Oh, turn the wrong way. The go. less sodium um, soy sauce, because we do uh, live a low sodium lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So um, anywhere I can reduce that sodium, I'm all about that. So yes. you want to use three is it three tablespoons? Three okay. tablespoons. Three tablespoons of the 
soy. Yes. And then we're also going to add two tablespoons of miso paste. Two tablespoons of miso paste. And again, I think we have a picture, but before you go there, remove the lower thirds. Okay. And let's check on our okay. Yes. I'm going to check on our onions and mushrooms here. Yes. Now you notice that the water is um cooking out and you sort of see some of that browning. That's what you want in your pan, okay? That's where your vegetables are starting to caramelize and all the goodness, all that good flavor is just coming out wow, of your onions and your mushrooms. It Right, we still got a little bit more water in there, so we're going to um, allow them to continue to cook a little bit, right? But let's say if all of the water was out and we still wanted our veggies to cook a little bit, all you have to do is just add a little splash of water, okay? Just a little splash of water. And keep it just a little bit, okay? Where do we leave off at? With the uh, miso paste? Yep, got okay. the miso paste. Yep. So we're going to add two tablespoons of miso, and I think we have a picture of the miso as well. Yes, and all this is is fermented soybeans, and it has a little bit of salt. But the flavor, remove we'll the lower third yes, there. The flavor is amazing, okay? Yes. And you can get that from, yep. you can get that from in. Yep. You get that from your store, Asian right. stores. Any carry. Asian market would yeah. carry miso Whole paste. Whole okay, foods Whole carry. Foods carry miso paste. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna add miso paste in there, and that was two tablespoons, I believe. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Look how onions and mushrooms are about done. Okay. All alive, all pretty looking. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I have quite a few guests have joined us, Queen. I know. Uh, let me see if I can click on the chat button there real quick. I don't okay. know if we can give a few some, people some, shout some, out. Some shout out okay, there. Yeah, so many. So scroll on down. I'm going up here. I think I saw Marge Lee. Let's see here. Let's see who we got. Oh, see, I'm mm -hmm. Joanne Bust. would say hello, Joanne. Hey, Joanne. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, wouldn't miss this. Hey, I know Janet. Thank you, it Janet, is awesome. for joining us. Totally awesome. There goes sis right there. What's going on, hey, sis? Belinda. Hey, good to see you, sis. Awesome. You know, excited to learn how to make these links. Yes. I think I uh, saw Marge Lee down there. No. Down. Yes. Let me see. Who is this? CJ. No, no recipes. Hey, CJ. Thank you, CJ. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, yes. All right. Let me see here. I'm gonna go down here and let me see. Tammy is there. Hey, yep, Tammy. Tammy. Hey, how you doing, Tammy? You know, I think I missed. Uh, let me see. I missed it. Was the meat uh, pinto beans soaked? I'm sorry. And cold cooked first. The pinto beans were canned pinto beans. Yes. Okay. Matter of fact, him and a can over there. Okay. They're just pinto beans in the can. Yes. Um, and I like to use uh the no salt added. Uh, pinto beans from Walmart, great value, okay. Yes. And there's no added sodium, that's right. Okay, but if you should have a can of pinto beans, try to get the beans with the least amount of sodium, whatever brand that is. If your um local market don't carry the um salt free pinto beans, yes. then find a brand with the least amount of sodium. You want to rinse the beans off. And then you're going to add three quarters cup to your blender. Yes, okay. Absolutely. Did I answer the question? I, I think got, I did. Yeah. Good. Hey, hey how Angela, doing? how you doing? Oh, all so right. Let's keep, keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. All right. Let me see. I'm going to roll over here. I'm sorry. I'm trying to find Marge on there. I saw Stephanie on here. I Tammy's did. I there. Saw Marge. Yeah, we saw Marge. We yes, saw you, Marge. Right We're trying to get you there. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Stephanie. Come on, scroll, scroll, yep, scroll. Yep, Mom's telling me to scroll. Yeah, there she is, Marge. There she is. What's up? How you hey, doing, Marge? Marge? What's Thank you for joining us. We appreciate you. you. All Good right, let's move on. Yes, Keep it moving. Yes. yes. Okay. Because time is time money. Y'all know what I say, right? No time queen. is money. No All queen, right. Man. So, so yes. we stopped at the miso paste, I believe. Yes. Yes, we did, Mom. Okay. Let me get back to my spot here. I'm rolling and scrolling. Miso paste. There we go. Miso paste. Okay. Good. You ready? Let's go to the sun-dried tomatoes. Okay. okay. That would be back at top because we talked about them so. Yes. All right. Okay. So we're going to go with the sun-dried tomatoes. Sun -dried tomatoes. 
Right. Y'all remember earlier I said allow the sun-dried tomatoes to soak for about 15 minutes. That's right. Okay. They've done that. Yes. All right. You can notice. You can zoom in. Yeah. Yep. Gotcha. So you see how they sort of swole up. All right. Yes. And we're going to go ahead and dump all of that goodness into the blender. Yes. There we go. All righty. All right. Okay. Yes, we got that in there. Yes. Here. We're also going to add, do you have tomato paste? One quarter yes. cup of yes. tomato paste. Tomato paste, yep. Okay. And again, you want to get that tomato paste without any salt added. Salt. Yes. Alrighty. Yes. And last but not least. Alrighty. Last but not least, we're going to add all of our vegetables in, okay? Yes. So again, as you can see, yep. zoom in, please. Okay. So we have our onions and our mushrooms. They're all done and yeah, all nice and brown. Eyes. They're beautiful. Yes. So we're going to go ahead on and dump them into our blender. Yes. They smell great, too. Okay. Yeah. I mean, they smell great. Okay. Give us your comments on yes. this day. All right. Let me see if I can pop into some of these comments here while Queen is. Getting the meal there. Let's see here. All right, Janet, Angela. Okay. All right, Joanne. So happy. All right, Joanne Buster. So happy to watch you make this. Going to make these links for sure. Well, Joanne, you won't regret making them, honey. They yeah. are absolutely amazing. Yes, yes, yes. We had a good hello shout out from Jill. Hey, hey Jill. Jill. Nice to see you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. Yes, okay. So we'll go back in, Queen. And disconnect the hot plate. Okay, hot plate disconnect. Mm -hmm. Got it. And now we are all ready to blend. We have vegetables in here, beans, whole bunch of spices, whole bunch of flavoring going on. Yes. And that's going to become what I like to call our slurry. Yes. Okay? That's going to become like our flavoring packet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right here. I'm sorry. I'm yeah. Okay, yeah. so we're going to blend this up just briefly, just enough for everything to sort of come together, yes. and it's going to give us a really thick slurry. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm so going to meet you guys this? for a second. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, we're back. Okay, can y'all <laughs> hear us? Okay, good, awesome. All right, so as you can see, I sort of use my um, spatula as a tamper, but you come out with something like this, it's a really thick, like paste, okay? All right, and um, it's okay if you have a few pieces or chunks of onion in there or mushroom, oh, it's all good. But, because uh, remember, this is a plant-based veggie type link, right? So yes. it's okay if we have a little bit of veggies um, that's showing. Now, if you have someone that just don't like onions or they don't like the sight of vegetables, then you can blend this down even more yes. to a smoother um, slurry. But I like mine sort of chunky. Yes. Okay? So now I know you're saying, now, Faye, how are you going to make the sausage? Yes. I'm glad you asked that question. Yes. We're going to use vital wheat gluten. And do I have a picture of vital wheat gluten? I um, think I don't. Yes. Okay. Okay. So uh, where is the vital wheat? Over uh, there. Right here. Vital wheat gluten. Okay. Yeah. So what is vital wheat gluten? All right. Remove the Lord there's there. Yes. Vital wheat gluten is no more than the protein from wheat and it's called gluten it's what you know like whole breads binds together, together it's yeah. binding but when it's when they strip this away from uh the process by way they get this protein out of out of wheat 
It's like a flower, mm -hmm. okay? And um, I have some here. See, it's just like a flower. And when you add, when you add moisture to this flower, it sort of gets firm and it takes on like a, a meaty texture, okay? And it binds everything together, all your spices and your vegetables and everything together, all right? So that's Vital Wheat Gluten. You can get this from your local grocery store. Okay, if you can't, Amazon definitely have it. But, you know, I've seen this at Walmart. I've seen it at Kroger. They have it at the commissary. So Vital Wheat Gluten, all yes. right? That's what you want. It's a flour and it's full of protein for those of you who are concerned about protein. All yes. right. You shouldn't be because everything we eat have protein. There's just different sources. Where are you going to get your protein from? Right. Animal or from plants. Okay. Mm -hmm. But plants is That's number one, the man. number one protein. Guess where the animals get their protein from? I was from. just getting to say. Yeah. The animals are getting their, their protein, protein from eating plants. All right. So yes. we're cutting out the middleman yes. and we're going straight, straight to the source, source and we're going to get our protein from the um, plants. The plants. Yeah. Beans are loaded with protein. Yeah. You name it. Everything, everything, all plants have protein in it. All yes. right? right. So we don't really concern ourselves with protein. But just right. for those of you who are, yes. I'm just letting you know vital wheat gluten is high in protein. You are, your beans are high in protein. Okay. Yes. So now we're going to, before I add slurry, I'm sorry, I'm jumping okay. ahead of myself. Yep. You want to add also, so that's one and. Okay, so we go here. Yes. One and one quarter cup of vital, vital wheat gluten. gluten. And we're going to add one third okay. cup of oats, yes. okay, to the flour. And then I like to, because I like a little heat, I'm going to add one teaspoon of red pepper flakes, yes. okay? And then I'm going to take my whisk and just sort of whisk this all together, yes. just like that. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm whisking that together. And now I'm ready to add in my slurry. There we go. Which is no more than what? Beans, mushrooms, onions, onions mm -hmm. a whole bunch of spices. Tomato okay, paste. tomato paste. Yes. Oh, you see that going that in? Me so. Oh, yeah. That looks great. That looks good. Okay. I need to use another spatula. I don't okay. like this one here. Okay. There you go, Mom. You can show some comments sure, if you want. Sure. Well, do this. If anybody have any questions about anything, that would be awesome. You may have a question or two. Let me see here. We go into my chat. There we go. All right. Ooh, the Bluetooth. Yes, awesome. Yeah, you know, Jill wanted to know uh, would the food processor work? Sure. Yep. Sure, Jill. Yep. Use what you got, honey. Yes, make yes, it do what it yes, do. Make it do what it yes, do. Yes, ma'am. A food processor will work. Yes. Um, now, are you referring to the, the the processing of your veggies? Yes. Um, as far as the vital wheat gluten part, I like to get my hands down and dirty. Yeah. Um, but if you want to use your food processor for that part, you can. Yes. I just prefer using my hands. You can put the uh, Okay, I want to show one more. Here. Okay, one more got question. Another, got another question. This is my first live with you guys, Tammy. Yep, I'm definitely going to make this recipe for my husband. Okay. He's trying to get on board with me, being whole food, plant-based. Tammy, that is awesome. That's and awesome. you know what? Meet your husband where he is in his journey. Yes. Help him along the way. Yes. And make foods that he will recognize, <laughs> yeah. okay? That's important when you're trying to transition um, anybody, yes. really. Yes. Um, making foods that they're used to seeing, yes. but it's just plant-based. It's yes. a plant-based version, yeah. okay? Yeah. And you want to make sure that it tastes good. Yes. It's all about the spices, all honey, the spices. okay? Yes. We are from Virginia by way of where we come from. However, we live in Kentucky. Well, who was that, yeah. Tammy? That was Tammy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Tammy. We're in Kentucky. Yeah, we was born and raised in Virginia. Yeah. And, but we live in Kentucky right now. Yes. 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 Okay, yes. so. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. <laughs> I got to show you this. Okay. 
<laughs> Mars came back. She said, is your delicious cake next? <laughs> yes, ma'am. That is in the works in the next couple of weeks. Yes, ma'am. It, it is. It is, Mars. It is. It is. All right. I'm going to go ahead on this. So let's go ahead on and zoom in. Yes. Okay. So you can see I'm basically just um sort of mixing the flour in with the with the uh, slurry. So now you can sort of see that it's like thickening up, right? Mm -hmm. At this point, I like to go ahead on and get my hands down into the bowl, okay? And try to open up this screen. Yeah. And I'm just going to knead this mixture. Now for those of you who don't like uh, connecting with your food, right? You can wear gloves for this process if you want. All right, um, but I just, I like touching my food. I like feeling it, I like touching it, okay? All right, so we're just gonna need this. I like eating it. <laughs> At your mind, right, we love eating it, okay? Yes, sir. All right. I figured I'd put my little two cents in there, you know? Oh, yes, yeah. oh, yes. But, oh, but yeah. Tammy, kudos to you for helping your husband along the yes, way. Yes. All right. And um, yeah, when we transitioned, we transitioned together. Yes. Queen and I, we did it together. It mm -hmm. took us about three months to transition our, our kids mm -hmm. um, into the whole food plant based about lifestyle. Six months. Six, six months. months. I'm sorry. Six months. Yeah. Six months. That's right. Month. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Six months. You know. So. Yeah, so somebody, <laughs> look at Stephanie, boy. Hey, how you doing, Stephanie? Thank you so much for locking horns with me there. So I'm right there with you, Will. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. Yes, yes. So now look, look at this. Yes. Zoom in. Go zoom in. Yes, there it is. Okay, so there is our, you see that? Oh, yes. That's all right. Looks like some meat came out so good. But you want to keep kneading this until you get that dough texture and you'll mm -hmm. know it'll stick together okay and it get yes. firm yes okay that's those protein strands i think oh the gluten the gluten, gluten strands mm -hmm. okay so you want to keep kneading it and i like to do it for about five minutes or so all right and then the fun part begins you yes. start making the sausage okay yes. i'm gonna go wash my hands real quick yeah yep. well you can uh talk with everybody all right great you know, I tell you, that was one of the things I wanted for my birthday. I said, you know, give me an old fashioned um, breakfast, southern breakfast, you know. Mm -hmm. So we're from Virginia. So I was like, hey, if you can just, I want to get some pancakes and uh, do me like a breakfast scramble. Um, and then also, I wanted those, uh, those red pinto links, you know, the sausages and everything. Oh, man, it was so delicious. I'm telling you, it was fantastic. Now, listen, we'll, uh, you know, you know, he always white gloves stuff, but y'all know I keep it 100. <laughs> All right. How many of us used to eat them red sausage links? Yeah, I'm telling you. You know the red sausage yeah, links with the little skin on the head to pull off? Yeah. That's what these remind yes. me of, okay? Yes. The yes. red sausage links that I used to boil on the stove, oh, yeah. right? Pour yeah. a little bit of vinegar in there yeah. and then fry them on the frying pan and put them on a piece of bread with some mustard, yeah. all right? Yeah. That's how I used to roll like back in the day now, back yeah. in the day. Yeah. So- You got a request from your sister. <laughs> I, I, huh? I wanted to submit my request for a link before they are gone. <laughs> well, since you know, hey, you know the address, <laughs> yeah, just come on over, come on over. <laughs> So I just had, I just poured off a piece of parchment paper, right? Mm -hmm. And I tore it in half. Yes. You want to do that six times, mm -hmm. tear it in half, you're going to get uh, 12 squares. They're about four by four. Mm -hmm. And you want to do the same for your aluminum foil, okay? Yes. Just tear off some pieces of aluminum foil, tear them in half, right? And you'll get 12 individual pieces, okay? So next, we're going to go ahead on and start forming our links. Okay. So you want to get. You want another cup, man? Oh, I yeah. use this one. Okay. Add some oats in that cup. All right. So you want to measure out, get a one third cup measure, okay? And just measure out by one third cup. Okay. Y'all see that? Mm hmm. And I'm going to just drop it onto the parchment paper. You can do it long ways. And you want to shape this into, like, I like to say, like, in the shape of a Twinkie. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. But in the sausage link type shape. No right or wrong, whatever floats your boat. Okay. Make it do what it do. That's what I say. All right. And then you're going to roll your link just like that. And then fold it over. Like that. And then come back again. And you want to roll. You're going to pull and fold it over. So that's one. There you go. Pretty easy. We'll do it again. Yep. Get your piece of go out, please. Okay. Get your piece of parchment paper. Mm -hmm. Lay it on top of your aluminum foil. Or measure out one third mm -hmm. cup of your seitan. Now that it's um, wet and we have a dough, it's in the vegan world, it's called seitan. That's not Satan, it's in the mm -hmm. devil. But seitan, I think it's S-E-I-T-A-N, okay? Mm -hmm. That's what it's called, vegan meat, all right? Okay, and again, we want to shape it into um, I mean, you can zoom in there, please. Okay. Sure. There we go. So, just like so, okay? And then you just roll it on over. Yes. Roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. Just like that. Bring your so. ends over. And then fold it. Okay? Yes. Now, since we're still already rolling so much, I'm going to show y'all how easy it is. He can do it too. Yes. All right. Well, wash your hands. Yes, ma'am. And I'm going to let him do it. And then we're going to move on to the next step. All right. Y'all doing all right? Good. Someone asked how long, Tammy says, how long have we been plant-based? Okay. So Tammy, we've been plant-based now for seven years. Matter of fact, this coming May will be eight years for us. Yes. All right. We went plant-based May of 2015, I believe it was. And uh, yeah, May 2015. Yeah. And um we haven't looked back. Oh. And, and so, yeah, you said what made us go that direction? Health. I wanted to lose some weight. And then I quickly learned that um, not only was whole food plant-based good for helping you lose weight, but also to help you gain and maintain and sustain good health. So um, so it was a no-brainer for me. Yeah. Okay. You know, as you're getting older, you know, like I was getting older and I wanted to make sure that uh, do at least do my part or do our part not to get on any you know, medicines and things mm -hmm. like that. Um, at one point, you know, I had high blood pressure, so I was on medication for that. Um, and I can tell you right now, just going whole food, plant based, I'm not on any meds whatsoever. Mm -hmm. You know, it feels extremely good. I mean, work out very hard, and um, it's just a wonderful life. It just makes you feel good, feel better inside mm -hmm. um, as you get older. You know, like you said, when you're younger, you feel like you're going to live forever. So when you get older, you need to take care of yourself. You know, well, well if you take care of yourself on the front end, yeah. you'll do better on the back end. Yeah. So that's what we was thinking about too. You know, whatever we did, it was going to help us with longevity of life being here with our family. Most definitely. So yeah, it was for me initially was to lose weight, Tammy. Um, and then I quickly learned that it was also good for um, our, just our overall health. And not just for me and my husband's um, health and well-being, but also for our children. Yes. So uh, I quickly made it a family affair uh, for all of us to just start embracing and eating more plants. Y'all check Will out. He got this. He got it. You look good. You look good. Hey. So that's why we went um, whole food, plant-based, Tammy. And I tell you, I have not looked back. No. Living a plant-based lifestyle for me, again, means, you know, being healthy, yes. uh, having a whole bunch of energy, um, having a clear mind, yes. um, you know, just living that, that abundant life. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And not just, uh, and I'm not saying there are times where we don't, we, we get sick, like our daughter, she just got over a virus, but I'm just talking about just that healthy living. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And so it, it, it's no question. We want to go outside and run around with the kids. We can do it, you know? Yes. So um, it's about the quality of life. 
just living a, a great quality of life um, as we grow and get um, wiser and older. Y'all know Will just turned 62. And I don't mind yes. saying I'm 50, uh, 51. I always have to say, wait, he's 62. He's 11 years my senior. So, yes, ma'am, for us, it was about weight. Then it quickly went into just healthy living, right? Taking care of our health. Because y'all know our health is our wealth, That's right? right? That's, That's right. right. That's, That's right. right. So, you're going to do this until you make 12 links, yes. okay? Yes. 12 so well. links. Yeah. You're welcome, Tammy. You're, welcome. you're going to end up with 12 of these, 12 all links. right? So, a dozen, okay? Yes. And then you have two options for cooking these. Yes. You want to steam them. You can either steam them on the stove in a pan, fit it with a, 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 a steam basket. Show me a steam. Give me a steam basket from over there. Okay. Some people may not know what a steam basket is, and it's all right. When I first went plant based, I didn't know what zest was. Okay. Yes, I know. So, uh, <laughs> but you have not because you asked not. That's so, right. this is what a steamer basket looks like. You can zoom in. Yes. And I got this from Walmart uh, for like, I don't know, $5 or so. And you place it down into a pan. Yep. You can zoom out. Yep. Place it down into a pan mm -hmm. with some water. Yep. And you just want the water to barely touch the touch bottom, bottom of the basket. Mm -hmm. And then you put whatever it is you want to steam in the basket. Put the lid over it and let it steam. Okay. Yep. Now on the stove, you have to allow it to steam for 45 minutes. Yes. But I like to use my Instant Pot. And for those of y'all who know me, yes. you know I love my Instant Pot, okay? Yes. So I'm gonna get my Instant Pot. And I actually have, I have four of these bad boys, all right? Yes. So I have like a little um, trivet in here. I don't know if you can yep. see that, okay? Hey, Joanne, and, I got you, Joanne, I got you. And I got some water. Thank you for trying to help others as well as your own family. Yes, well, ma'am. Listen, our health is our wealth, honey. Right. Okay, so That's we right. got to get to the root of what? Yep. Taking care of our health. That's right. All right. That's right. So, Just um, say health is the foundation of you. It is that. It yeah, is so that. Do. So, we're going to go ahead on and place these in here. And again, this batch makes 12, 12, yes. so a dozen of links. Okay. And then, and my instant pot, I put the lid on. Yep. Can you plug oh, yourself wow. for me? Plug yourself so for me. Look at that. CJ. Hey, CJ. CJ, look. Hey, we met you. Okay, yes. Chef Angels. Oh, yeah, a few years ago. Yes. You were doing this. You know what? Oh, yeah, I think I remember you now. Hey, CJ. You, 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 How are you? It's so good well, to see you. Well, thank you for joining you. us. Yes. Thank you for joining us. Yes. Yeah, we had an amazing time at that event. Most yeah, definitely. Awesome. Most definitely. Let's, yes. let's keep it moving. Yes. yes. All right. So um, I love my Instant Pot, so I have my, my links inside here, and we're going to hit the steam method, I mean the steam uh, button, and I have it set at 25 minutes. Um, and the way you set time on the Instant Pot, you see you go up or down. So we're going to set this at 25 minutes, and wow. walk away. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay? That's yeah. why I love my Instant Pot. If uh, now also the Instapot has a, a close a venting um, wow. the valve. valve on the top of the pot, so you yes. just want to make sure when you're steaming yes. that that is turned to close, right. you know, and um, and then you just walk away and leave. Yes. It. So that's why I love the Instant Pot. Get there, baby. I get it. I get it. We can set it over there. On I the know. Side. Sit it down so I can grab it. Oh, okay. there, you there you go. go. There you go. Yeah. All right. All right. Anybody got any questions? All right. So basically, you cook your veggies, you throw everything in a blender, blend it all together, add it to your Vital Wheat gluten, yeah. massage it all in, get it all in till you get a dough, and you roll out your links, okay? Yeah. Once your links are done, you want to allow them to cool at least a good 30 minutes at least, okay? Allow them to cool because the longer they cool, they firm up, Yes. okay? The seitan gets very firm. And then it, it'll have more of that meat like texture. So I'm gonna zoom in again on these amazing mm -hmm. links. And yes. that, they look good, don't they? Yes, yes, honey. They look absolutely amazing. Yes. Oh. And I'm gonna show them to you again. Yep, Tammy and her husband right there with us. So oh, that's yes. how they look, oh, okay? Yes. And now we're going to show you how you can 
pan fry these red pinto links, okay? Yes. And again, you do not need any oil. No oil is needed. No. Oil is not good for our hearts. It's not good for our lips, hips, and our fingertips, okay? Because <laughs> there's a whole lot of calories in oils. Yep. So if you want to cut some calories, eliminate oils from your diet, That's all right? right? That's all right. oils, okay? That's right. So what we're going to do is, you see a knife hand of that knife over there, baby? Sure, baby. You can turn the instant pot off because I put the rest of the um, sausage links in there. Okay. Just hit cancel. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, I just want to show a couple of comments. Yeah, you know, Tammy ahead. was saying, yeah, her husband just turned 62. He okay. just retired. Oh, wow. wow. Congratulations. She's okay. 52. Yeah, we're blessed trying to be the healthiest we can be. Okay. We totally understand. What better time what to better time? be what the better healthiest way? you can be? Because yes. now y'all living your golden years, That's right? right? That's right. Okay, so yeah. you owe it to yourself, it honey. Be Do this. Yes. You got it. Yes, <laughs> that's right. Yes. Can you, oh, somebody has a question. Somebody, okay. wait, Donna, hey, can you smoke them? Sure. You sure can. I would leave them um, wrapped properly. On the grill, she wants to know. On yes. the grill. I'm pretty sure you grill. can, yes. most definitely. Yes. I will yes. probably leave them yes. wrapped in maybe like the uh, parchment paper. Yes. Um, And put them in the grill, on the grill. Yes. No problem. Yep. Yes. Now, you know, you can also buy grill mats. Yes. Right? Um, I don't know how long you would smoke it. Maybe, what, 10, 15 minutes on the grill? Yeah. Yeah. So I would definitely keep them probably wrapped mm -hmm. um, so they won't dry out. Yeah. But, yes, ma'am, you could definitely smoke yes. these links. Well, I definitely right? joined the Debbie Falls. She said, yay, can't wait to make these. I just printed awesome. the recipe. So that's good. So the recipe is there, Debbie. That's awesome. Thank you yes. for letting us all know that. You guys go there, print that recipe out. Yes. Boy, I'm gonna make them red, them pencil links. I'm telling you, this it's dog. a game changer. All right. So you see here, I didn't put any oil in my pan. Okay. Now I like to split my um. Yeah, that's the way to do it. My point. link. Okay, because that's how I used to do it back in the day. I like to split it down the middle. Yes. But you don't have to. You can just place it in the pan like so. Okay. And um. Give me a spatula. Oh, spatula. Okay. And basically, all you have to look over there, enjoy. Basically, all you have to do is um, let your pan heat up. And I like to take my spatula and sort of press it. Yes, that's the one I like. As as it begins to sizzle a little bit, I like to just press to give a little added pressure, and that helps the browning effect, right? Mm -hmm. And you let it um, cook for about two minutes on that high heat. And flip it over, do another another two to three minutes, yes. okay? And that's it. That's it. That's basically it. And then you're left with him and that plate over there uh, with all of those sausage links that are um, done already. Yes, they're already done. Yes. Okay. And I cooked up some a little later. Matter of fact, our kids had some tonight yes. with their dinner. Uh, yes. See? So this is oh, how they goodness. look. When they are yes browned up, you see that? I'm telling you, absolutely amazing. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now again, you can have this with breakfast. Okay. You can also have it with a um, good old pot of beans, oh, right? Oh, Make yeah. your pot of beans. Pot of green beans. You gotta cook. You gotta cook your seitan, like yes. we're talking about on the stove, and then you can put it over into your beans. Yes. Okay. Oh, yes. uh, what else? You can rice, have it with rice. rice. And gravy. Yes. Well, you better shut your mouth. Yes. You're going to talk it. Yes. <laughs> you yes. can do that. Yes. You can just make a sandwich. You know, like I yes. said, back in the day, I would make take some, a little, some bread. Make yeah. little Pour some mustard on it and eat it. Yes. Eat it. I mean, yes. it's so many so things many you can do useful. with these links. Yes, ma'am. And the taste is fabulous. amazing. Fabulous. Absolutely I'm amazing. I'm so um, we had to come and share this with y'all because, like I said, uh, for Will's birthday, that's what he wanted. He wanted a <laughs> southern. That's all he wanted for his birthday and cake, of course. Yeah. But he wanted a southern breakfast. Too. Yes. Okay. And yes. um, it it was it was out. It's all story. plant based, man. All plant based. Yeah. Okay. No harm, bringing no yes. harm to our bodies. Yes. Bringing no harm to animals. 
bringing no harm to our environment. It's all good. That's what it's about. You know, it's about eating food. That's what it's about. That loves your body back. That's right. right? That's because right. Because why do we eat? That's right. We, we eat, eat for nourishment, for nourishment, right? That's right. To nourish our bodies, mm -hmm. right? Keep our energy. bodies tuned yes, up. Energy. Yes. yes. Vitamins, minerals, yes. all of that. Yes. So that's what we're all about. Yes. When we say eat plant based, that's eating food about. that's going to love, that you can love. Right. And that's going to love, love you back. back. All like right. Things Tammy said, Tammy said, let us know if we can come for a three day vacation and we are there. Okay. Laugh out loud. We would definitely take our hat off oh, to the cooks. Yes, <laughs> Well, you Tammy, I'm, I'm gonna clarify something. You know, it's only one cook in here. You need big chef. That's it. Your little chef, all I do is eat. You know, what I'm saying I do help from time to time, but I will tell you right there, she, she the one though. She the one. That now did. let me give you a little tip when you're cooking this in the pan. When do you know to flip? You'll know when to flip because the, the link won't stick anymore. When yes. you first put it down, so it sticks, yes. but let it stay there. Mm -hmm. And then when it's ready to flip, you can actually just you see. Look, see how it just picked up? Yes, it yes. then stick to the it pan stick. and you flip it over. Oh, now yes. I would like mine a little bit more brown, but I just oh, wanted yes. to show you yes. um that once it's nice and brown, oh man, it will release from the pan. Yes. There's no need to add any oil. Nothing. Okay. No, that's right. Debbie said, I, okay, oh, I ate earlier, but now I'm hungry again. Uh, laugh out loud. <laughs> and I love that. I know what you mean. I know what yes, you mean. Yes. Definitely. Yes. I definitely know what you mean, boy. She, uh, uh, um, who's that? Donna A came and she said, "Y'all talking my language, boy." Yes, hey, honey. That's what we talking about. That's right. That's so right. again, I like to take my little spatula. Just zoom in, dude. Yes. I take my spatula here and just sort of see. I saw yeah, a brown. Brown on the look, Yeah, look at that right brown. There. Yes. Okay. And then um, I like to take my spatula and just add a little bit of pressure. Little pressure on it. Yeah. Let's see. There you go. No there oil. You, go. you see that? It's not sticking right. either. It's not sticking. Yeah. Flip it over. Yeah. Yep. We got yep. a little bit of brown and going. That's there. a little comment there. Joanne Buss said, This is amazing, Faith. You are awesome. Oh. I'm drooling. Oh. Laugh out loud. Hey, Joanne. I tell you what, Joanne, I know how you feel. Let's I'm right here drooling with you, boy. Tell me laughing out loud. I'll show this pan again. Yep. I'm mean, going gotcha. to gotcha. those that don't believe. Yep. There it is. Look, it's not sticking to the pan. That's you see right. that? That's and right. I have some browning going on here. That's you see right. that? That's right. All right. Got it. So you do not need any any oil. All right. Somebody asked what type. What's what's the name of the pan, baby? Oh Stephanie, yeah. Stephanie, Someone Stephanie, asked that Stephanie, before. Said, what is what is the name of the pan you cooking these in? Okay, yeah. Stephanie. Open up the screen, baby. So I oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Stephanie. Who is that, Stephanie? Yeah, Stephanie. Okay, show her comment yeah, again. Yeah, Stephanie. She said, Stephanie, I what got this pan. Is the name of the pan you from can... my favorite store, Walmart. Walmart, and the name brand is called Time or Time yep. and Table. Yep. And it's actually an amazing pan. Let me show you. Mm -hmm. Let's zoom in there. Yep. It's amazing. It's nonstick. Okay, I got it from which way? There you go. And right there, it says. Thyme and table, mm -hmm. or thyme and you know, like this, the spice, yeah, the spice herb. Thyme. Mm -hmm. Am I saying it right? Thyme, thyme. thyme. Yeah. T H Y M E, -M -E. Yes. yes, and table, yes, and they really are. It's an amazing pan. I use it for a lot of different things, but it's non stick, and I think yes. it's some type of stone um layer like stone up here. Um, but it's Warner amazing. Home. I got yeah. it from Walmart, so mm -hmm. check out your local Walmart. Yeah. And um, yeah, because y'all know I'm a Walmart kind of girl, right? I shop at Walmart. All That's right. Good, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got three, four of them in my in my area, so and I go to all of them. Yeah. You know the good part of this is that we try to come and bring things that are simple, that are inexpensive, um, mm -hmm. something that everybody and anybody can use or yes. can find. You know, yes. that's what makes it up because, you know, when we first went to Whole Food plant base, you know, we, we thought we had to go to Whole Foods and we thought we had to go to Trader Joe's. Well, both of those stores were almost a little over 50 miles away from us one way. Yeah. So, you know, we felt like, oh, my goodness, if we have to drive up to Whole Foods or Trader Joe's every time we wanted to do a grocery shop. It right. wasn't sustainable. Right. It wasn't so sustainable for us. I learned yeah. how to make do with what was in my local area. Yes. And for me. That's four Walmarts. Yes. I got two Aldi's. Yeah, you got, I got a couple a, of Kroger's. I got two Kroger's, okay? <laughs> yes. And I have an Asian market. Yes. And when I can't find, and I got a commissary. And we got a commissary, okay? yeah. And when I can't right. find what I need between them, 
eight stores. Eight stores. Then I go to Amazon. Then we go to Amazon. And I just there keep it, go. keep, keep it, it up. Keep it going. Right? We keep it moving. Now, yeah, my sister, she goes up to uh, Louisville a lot where the Whole Foods is. So when she go up there, sometimes she'll pick up some stuff for me. But I make it do what it do. That's right. Right here. Yep. In my local market. No excuses. And that's right. No and excuses. then whatever I can't find, I just go to Amazon and get it. That's okay. It. Cause y'all know if there's a will, there's a way, Absolutely. right? Awesome. Absolutely. So with that being said, that is queen. we're going to bring this to well, a close. Shut it down, boys. And shut you wanna taste, down. you wanna give us a taste test? Yeah, yeah. Okay, you here, just all you do is grab one. Mm -hmm. Listen, you you gotta one. be bougie. Okay. Okay. Look, this is your food. <laughs> All right, you in your house. It's okay, you so we're gonna do a taste mm -hmm. of. Mm. Oh man, my God, my God, listen. listen. Just off of, man. That I just that red pepper flake just hit. It's good. It's awesome, guys. These are red mm. oh, sausage links. They're fantastic. It's plant based, but my brain mm -hmm. is saying mm -hmm. these are those red links mm -hmm. you used to eat. We was, we was young. You was growing up. Yeah, we were growing up. Mm -hmm. So, hope you all give this recipe yeah. a try. Appreciate all of you for joining us live. So much. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead on and print out the recipe. Mm -hmm. I'll be uploading the how to video on our blog mm -hmm. after we uh, finish this live. Yeah. So give this recipe a try. Um. And you know what we say here, get to the root, right? Your health is your wealth. That's right. Okay? So get to the root of living a healthy lifestyle. That's right. By eating more plants. Yes. We just showed you how to do that, making these links. I'm telling you. Stress and less. Mass. Yes. Moving your body. Moving your body, guys. Join us this coming Sunday. Yes. Uh, Saturday, Saturday. At 7 a.m. We'll be doing a live workout. That's right. And love them more. Love them more. Oh. Let's go look at what Stephanie said. Okay. Stephanie, I'll thank you, Stephanie, for that. We knew Queen's going to be on there. She said, I'm looking forward to watching you tomorrow on Chef AJ yes. Live at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Going to be fun. Thank, thank you, for that. Stephanie. Appreciate yes. I was just getting ready to say that. Mm -hmm. I will be live tomorrow. Yes. On Chef AJ Live, um, world renowned chef. Mm -hmm. Okay. She's yes. like one of the best dessert making chefs that i know but she yes. makes some other amazing oh, dishes yes. and i've learned yes. a lot from her oh, yes um on how to just bring my family along to eating healthy so i'm grateful chef aj reached out to will and i mm -hmm. and she want me to demonstrate the cheese ball uh the uh cauliflower cheese ball that we did last week yes um so i'll be doing that on tomorrow so if you're not busy Join in on the fun tomorrow. It'll be 2 p.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time, mm -hmm. 11 o'clock a.m. Pacific. Pacific Time. All yes. right. Yes. Thanks for that, Stabby. God bless you, Stabby. We love you all. Yes, we love Looking you Looking forward to seeing you uh, tomorrow. Yes. And also tomorrow, Chef AJ. Right. Um, Saturday. And Saturday at 7 a.m. Live work on Eastern Standard Time. Eastern Standard Time. Come on, join all us, right. guys. All right. Thank we you love so y'all. Take care. Okay. See you the next time. See you guys. Bye. Bye. -bye. Put the link on. Thank you.